And miss. Koros. Yeah. I'm gonna try to finish this guy off with Winter's Breath. Take that. Ah, uh, that is no good. But keep going. Right, I'm gonna try to take him out with Death Knight's two headed sword. That's a hit. Mm, I don't want to be a reason for death of NPC, but what about the skeletons who are near a candle? You'll find out soon. Um, initiative. Like I said, what's happening over there, you, none of you guys are aware of, so... As far as, you, as far as you're concerned, you don't care what's happening over there. I thought like the candle spoke up. Uh, he he didn't say any. All he said was that he was withdrawing, or sort of withdrawing. You know. How did you get seven point eight? A uh, point seven eight. Sorry. Um. Oh yeah, that's my. I can take it, it out. This is new initiative macro. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'll take it okay. out real quick. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I see why you see what that, yep, yep. I think I understand why that's there. Okay, you know, I'll just delete that part of it. Lamagi, waiting on your initiative. Sorry, sorry. Okay, round four. So it should be. Okay. Another attack at Archer. Ah. Uh. That's a hit, easy. Take seven points of damage. And an attack at Koroth. That's a hit as well. Doing eight points of damage. One, two, three. Two attacks on Kando. Oh, what's his AC again? Koroth? Oh, no, Kando. Um, yeah, so they're both hits on Kando. Uh, Koroth took eight points of damage. Yeah, I recorded it already. Yep, I was just making sure. Um, Kando takes seven points of damage. Magulor! Magulor! Yeah, Magulor. So, Magulor being distracted, right, sees Kando being a dumbass in the, uh, in the mirror, mirrored globe of the orb. He's... Uh, uh, fine. Three of you back. Yes, you. No, no, you. Yes, yes. You, no, no, no. Yes, you. You, those three over there, go and help Kando out. Yes, yes, you. Go. 
Yes. Fly. I'll move them on their turn. Alright. And then he will get back to researching this orb. Yep. But he'll hold action. He'll kind of like grab his wand to his, grab his wand out of his pocket and like hold it still in case something gets wrong goes wrong. Yeah. Archer. Again, going to attack this dude here with the flying fat long sword. One more time, hopefully. Nope. Why? Jeez. Adventor. Because rogues are not meant to fight. Good point. Yeah, a Vantor will attempt to climb out of the pit. Yeah, you can do that. His now molten is now molten skin. All right, and he'll try and pick up the sword, even though that's probably not advisable. And he'll probably how much movement was it, would you say is walking up this, this slope right here or climbing up it? Um, full round action, half round. At least half your movement's gone, just getting over that. Right, he'll, he'll f because even though you can't see it from this side, he, he there's, these, be... there's these little spikes along the way. Mm -hmm. Even though you can't really see them on this side. Yeah. And then so, you've got to be careful of the spikes down the bottom here. Yeah. I guess a Vanta will, like... Hmm, actually. I oh, know these things have... Ah. Oh. No, these things are magic. These things can resist. So. Yeah, but you don't know how well. You just know that they can resist. Just that they can. Uh, nah, he's got precious two little spells to waste. Doesn't get that many. I guess he'll throw one of his swords, I guess. <laughs> the risk of hitting one of the bats. Okay. That's a hit. Flying. Okay. Yay, the bats. What's that movement rate? Bat bat I'll start with these three bats over here. So two attacks on this dude. Crap. Double crap, they both hit. Okay. Doing that amount of damage. And the one lonely bat on the other one. Misses. Okay, three bats on the one on Koroth. Koroth. All missed. Three on the one on Archer. One of them criticals. Well, that's easy to work out. Such a shame these things are resistant to our all damage except bludgeoning. Otherwise, the bat that just criticaled would have killed it outright. Shame. Aventor. Uh, Aventor is out of swords to throw. So I guess I'll just kind of awkwardly sit there and look around. Yep. Koroth. I'm going to try to finish him off again with the Death Knight's two handed sword. And, gonna sing the fourth verse of the song of my peephole. Peephole. The 
the song of my people. Crap, they are huge. Crit! Nice. Fuck yeah. America! Fuck yeah! Fuck what yeah! Is this, what is this place you speak of called America? America. The land the best Be place. Who is America? As adept as yourself, may one day pick a really good pocket. Maybe. Kando. Kando finally realizing he doesn't have to keep his mouth shut. Guys, <laughs> help! Plus, there's some skeletons. Run away! The bats will take your hits. Yes, you yeah, will, bats. Yes, that yes. one. And then run he's away. going to actually turn his back and run. Twelve. Thanks. Thanks for two more attacks of opportunity. Yeah. The attack I'm... stopped there, though. So, thank God. And they both hit. Okay, I'm just gonna wait to see if they kill him. Oh yeah, they drop you down to minus two. And Candy was unconscious. And bleeding out. So who here? I love, it. I love it when you guys turn your back on my creatures. But unfortunately, not all of you uh, do that, so... I'll take them when I can get them. Okay, so... Nestros. Mamagi. Did anyone hear uh, Kanjo before he croaked? Ah, uh, yeah, he he said he called out just then. <sighs> Can't you move this way? Um, yes, but you will be vaulting over a railing, um, because there is a bit of a handrail just there. And from, from about here, it's a 10 foot drop down, so you will take a little bit of damage. Unless you take precautions to, um, lower yourself down and not take the damage, which would take a whole round. So if you do do that, you will end your round here. All right, she does it. Okay. As you're going over the rail, and I get you to make a dex check, please. What check again? I believe he said dexterity check. Oh, right. Ouch. 
Uh, okay, so as you are climbing over, your foot catches and you fall all the way down, taking two points of damage. Ouch. Koroth. All right, uh, can I squeeze through here? Yes, you can. Is there a drop off? No. Do I have to roll? A Unlike, drop? no. Unlike um, Amagi, there is no um, drop between there, and it's big enough that you can fit through there. Do I have to roll a dex check uh, to hop the rail? No. Um, between the rail and the statue is about three and a half feet, so you you'll have no problems fitting through there. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, in that case, I'm going to try to help Cando Baltrezus by moving my full 60 feet. Thusly. And by facing towards the enemy, and that will end my turn. Yep. And that'll bring us to initiative. Fuck. I'm assuming Kando doesn't roll initiative because he's knocked out. Yeah, that's correct. But you will need to um, subtract one from his health as well. Uh, Nestros, have you already rolled? Oh, one, one second. I've already rolled... Um, initiative. Four, round four. No, I did not. I'm sorry for slowing down the game. This will take, like, now. There we go. Of course, what what is it doing? Uh, don't mind the health. It's supposed to be at negative three. Ah, uh, yeah. Hang it's, on. Having a, it's having a spaz attack. There we go. Well, Archer's down again? Yeah. No, Kando. Oh, Kando is. Kando's down. Okay. <gasps> for once, I'm not down. Event door. Yeah, but when you go down, you go down for good. Until a convenient retrospective staff helps out. Alright. Avantor will simply He will like dexterously run along this railing. Right, fall to the ground and then walk up and just punch out this guy at the skeleton over here. Yeah, well I'd like you to make a uh Dex check first. Uh oh. <laughs> and as you run along the railing, you fall down. <laughs> Kunk. <laughs> Into the lava. That's railing. Super deadly. Into the lava where Macular Gorshe dies. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, falls on his face. <laughs> the least graceful dragon you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Magular will say, no, bats, no, go ha go pull Kando out of the fire. His ass is currently in it. Yeah, I need to move them back then. Whoops. No, you go back there.
That's as far as I can get. Hey. The other I'm bats will, like them. pull Kando away so they don't straight up murder him. Okay. So, we'll go these ones. So that's as far as they can ca they can carry him. Good bats, good. You'll get ma many an orange slice for this afterward. Okay, so these three bats attacking this one. These bats have been pretty cool. I mean, I'm, I'm not. They have done exceptionally well, but except they have. For those, except. Four, the four I just rolled for didn't roll any higher than a seven. Eh, they're, they're doing fairly well. It's alright. Magulor. Magulor. For bats. For bats, they're doing pretty well. They are doing exceedingly well. Then again, these are four dice creatures, so... Perhaps I can help yet again. I cast Magic Missile at the Dark Skeletons. Which one? The one that is currently right here. Okay. Whoops, I mean five. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys see that roll? None oh. of the miss none of the missiles heard it. Jesus. Four one 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 one. One 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 one. So none of the missiles heard it. That's pretty insane from magic as magic resistance goes. Oh yeah, these things have a darn high magic resistance. Okay, an attack against Archer, that is a hit. He takes... Once it loads. And I think I've just... Oh, there we go. Ten points of damage. And... One, two. This guy's gonna turn and face him. Okay, so this skeleton attacks bat in front of him. Uh, these bats have an AC. <laughs> that accurate. <laughs> okay, so these have an AC of two while moving about. Okay, so that's still a hit. I'm not sure whether that's a bat or a very, very sick vampire. <laughs> that would make a lot of sense. He's just like got like the bat sniffles and he can't transform back. And he gets summoned. Bat sniffles. Okay, so this skeleton here is attacking the bat in front of it. Critically hits it. Ah, uh, no! Sir Flappington! Sir <laughs> Flappington. <laughs> so you see this, uh, bat, uh, bat, skeleton swing its sword viciously downwards, almost cleaving the bat in two, but the bat is still My fluttering about it. The bat still lives on the crit! The bat's a beast! How? It's literally <laughs> almost cut in half. It's they a, have four wing. hit dice. <laughs> These bats are bigger than Kando! Its left wing is like not working. It's like basically fallen off and it's still sitting there flying ready to attack this freaking <laughs> These, skeleton. I, I basically summoned ten Kandos to fight for me. I love it. They've got four hit dice. They've got a chance of surviving. Archer. I am going to... Realizing that I can't hit this thing for shit with my sword, go back here and attack with my bow using a plus one magical arrow. Oh, I just realized something. Oh no, I did attack you, never mind. Yes, you did. Um, shoot away then. You suck. Mamagi. I, 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 I love how this bat's hanging 
upside down, not care that his bat does hang out in the air. Let's look at the wind. <laughs> He's just eating bananas, he doesn't give a fuck. Dude, if this bat falls down, I kinda wanna res it. I want her to move over here. Regular. Yeah. No. That bat. It would be like. Uh, uh, that super injured bat over there, yes, you! You're Sir Flappinkins now, I'm promoting you! Run away! Don't get hit anymore, I like you! <laughs> um, yeah, you can do that, but you still got movement even once you've gone there. You can move um, 12 squares, remember? Two squares? Yep. And caught shot at one of the skeletons. Yep. Is she still afraid? Oh yeah, these are still the same skeletons. Okay, because you are making a cold shot, I'm not going to uh, impose the normal critical miss penalty I put on. Um, so we won't worry about that. A. I'll remove Kando. Nestros. Alright then, let's try for real this time to take this guy out. For reals, mate. For reals. Yeah! For reals. Nope. I roll a freaking one. Ah. Roll a d8. Oh, uh, God. And a d10. Uh-huh. Oh, yay. I swear to God, if this lands anywhere near me. It's, it wasn't going to be able to land anywhere near you. Your sword is there. Great. What if I roll the one on that D8? Yeah. <laughs> Koroth. Alright, I'm gonna make a half move to. Here, I'm going to change facing so that I threaten both this skeleton and this skeleton. Yep. And, I'm also going to take a flank... Wait, am I flanking this one? Yes. You're actually okay. flanking them both, technically. Okay, uh, it looks like this one is more injured, so I will take a flank attack against him. Thusly. Yep. Do I get plus one? Yes. I get plus one for flanking. Yep, that's a hit. And I do damage, and I also... Sing the... Wait. Yes, I also sing the fifth verse of the song of my people. Which sounds like this. Now, let me be clear. It sounds like this. Ooh! And my turn is over. And then I get another turn. And then a third turn after that. Yes. I'm going to try to take out the same one with Winter's Breath, no cold damage. AC2. That's a hit. And then again with Death Knight's two hit sword, plus three.
Не That's a hit. Fuck. Minimum damage. Was that eight? Fucking eight damage. Fuck. I round up. So nine. Yeah, initiative. As these uh, three skeletons cling to their life. And roll maximum initiative. Yeah. Pick up your weapon is a move action, right? Yes. Oh, good thing it's right next to me then. Okay. So we've got Archer, Koroth, uh, Magilor, Magilor, Nestros, and Mamagi. Okay. Batch. So one on this skeleton. Yeah, Magilor will. Injured one! Mr. Flappington, fly away! D don't run, like, do the combat action all the way up, so we can't strike you. Kinda cheesy, but you can do it. Um, this one, or that one, because those two are injured. Uh, which one's the most injured? Um... Well, I'll just say injured ones. Okay. So yeah, and then they're I'll going go. to... Yeah, and you slack your bat over there! Dropped your weapon? You know, get back to work! Yep, so they'll disengage backwards. And he'll come back over. You watch now, he'll uh, kill the friggin' skeleton. Okay, so two attacks on this skeleton here. Both miss. Why is it repeating that one? Uh, four attacks on this one here. Two of them hit with one of them being a critical. It's dead. Of all things, bats kill it. Yes, bats. I know, it's... it's strange. Monster summoning is no joke. Oh yeah. Nesros! Even my my post in Discord one. literally just makes sense. Grab that yeah. crab. Yeah, well, he's dead. I'm just gonna pick up my... I'm just gonna pick up my, um... sword that I dropped. Yeah, by the way, that yeah. needs to be right here. Huh? Nothing, just muttering to myself. Yeah, I'll pick up my weapon and I'll use my action to hide in shadows. Okay. Uh... Yeah, Aventor and Archer, you can actually still see Nesros. Yeah, of course. I'm Argy. Well, you've got to fail at some point. <laughs> it rolled a 99. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Of all things, a 99. Might as well give it being 100 and let me have a laugh. Yeah. Uh, sheesh. And I, done, I failed at even that. Okay, Mamagi would like to approach Kanjo and 
Can't she use some kind of healing proficiency to stabilize him? Um, yes, it will stop him from bleeding out. Basically, you're um, bandaging his wounds and whatnot to stop him from bleeding further. But it won't actually heal anything, because to actually heal him, you have to attend to him in the first round of him having been hurt. Okay, yeah. She tries to stop him bleeding. So, do the proficiency. Okay, yep. you, you managed to successfully bind his wounds um, and stop the bleeding. So um, Kando will stop at the health he's currently on and will go no further into the negatives. Avantor. Vento, Magulo. Ah, crap. In my setup, yeah. So I guess Avantor's like, crap. Just gonna look up from a, from, like, wipe the dirt off his face, like, look up. See, like, the bat swarm picking the skeleton apart. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, well, that's finished. I guess, I guess you like, make a move around this corner and, like, see what's going on. You know, just kind of look around, like, did I miss it? Is everything dead? Well, as far as you're concerned, everything's dead, because you can't see anything over here. Oh, oh shit. You, like, get halfway to Magulor, and then Magulor, and then a silent communication between Magulor and Avantor will go out, and Avantor will, like, oh, he'll turn around and, like, start moving back down the staircase. Ooh, ching, 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 ching. Ching, 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 ching. Yeah. Ooh. Meanwhile, Koroth is actually pulling work over there. So I guess Avantor gets to rip out here, and then that's the end of his action. Yep. Uh, Archer. Um, hearing Kando scream and seeing Koroth and whatnot run, I'm going to follow the route Koroth went and go. No, what, what, uh, whatever. Same difference. Ah, <laughs> uh, 60 feet. Okay. To All there. Right. That's a full move, right? If that's 12 squares, then yes. Yeah, that's 60 feet. So. <laughs> yep. Then yeah, it's a full move, and I don't believe I can attack. So, that's a Okay. Magulor. Alright, I actually looked, and Bat Huge is the best thing on the monster summoning table by far. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. And it's funny, they don't have Those chest for it. Uh, no, they're bigger than Mobat. They're Bat Huge. Oh, wow. Yeah, 